Today's episode, I have got three amazing fish recipes for you. Three different fishes, three different parcels, three different flavors. It's going to be delicious. Right, so I went down to my local supermarket, which is Booze, and we're really lucky there is still a wet fish stall there. There's a fishmonger, and I bought some delicious fresh fish from a human being, which is really nice, isn't it? So I got three different pieces of fish today from my local supermarket. Um, I got a salmon fillet, I have got a sea bass fillet, and I've got a smoked haddock fillet. I wanted to show you three ways of bringing them together into a parcel with some beautiful ingredients, cooking dinner really quick. These cook in about 10 minutes in the oven, which is really, really quick, and the bags of flavor. And I'm gonna make some beautiful parcels using Baco foil. They've got this parchment and foil, so it kind of combines the two. So the foil will conduct the heat, the parchment will hold everything in together. It'll be blooming amazing. So, what do you want first, Emily? Oh. What do you fancy? Salmon. Salmon. Right, okay, so we're gonna go Asian with that, all right? So there is no cooking apart from whacking it in the oven. It is all prep, which I love. So this time of year, tender stem broccoli is really good. Um, let me grab my knife. Where might it be? This one will do, okay. So if you have any questions at all about today's recipes, Post them in the comments below. I am here to help, okay? And if you do cook any of these recipes, post a photo, let me know. I would love to see how people get on. Last week, I was chatting away to people on the platform, on Facebook, and they were telling me I have literally been and bought the ingredients, I'm cooking it now, which is amazing, and I love that. And it is from all over the world, even from America, Australia, we have people down the road cooking it as well. So it really is a, a real cross section. So, you fancy um, the salmon first, don't you? So yeah. we're gonna go tender stem broccoli, which is delicious this time of year. And I really like it because it's really easy to cook. So we're just gonna take it out of the packets. Can you use normal broccoli for this? You can use normal broccoli. It takes a little bit longer to cook, but you, so you just need to cut your broccoli accordingly. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Tender stem works really well because it will cook at the same time as the salmon. Um, so, because it's sort of, it's got these sort of tender stems, hence the name. Um, so it's a really good, easy one to cook. So, bunch them all together. I'm just gonna trim the ends off. They can go in a smoothie. If you're trying to be really, really healthy, Whack them in a smoothie, blend them down, you'll never know they're in there. Oh, you can be like Full me. Full of iron. Eat them raw. <laughs> I'll just chuck them to I like a little Emily or the dog. I'm like Whichever gets it first. Right, so flavour-wise, we're going to go ginger. So you're not going to eat this ginger. It's going to perfume everything that's inside the bag. So don't worry about peeling it. Just slice it, okay? Like that. Told you this is quick. You can even make this the night before, put them in the parcels, leave them in the fridge, and then when you get home from work, up and on, by the time it's hot, whack them in, 10 minutes, done. What, what would be quite good as well is if like people like different fish. Mm. It's still easy to kind of do yeah. all of them in parcels, but people can enjoy different fish. Yeah, too. well, we've got three different fish today. I will talk about the fishes that will work with this flavor and the other two, absolutely. So, I've got red chili, I'm just gonna chop that up. Again, this isn't trying to make it red hot. This is trying to create some aromatics that will just push through the salmon and the broccoli and it'll be delish. So, garlic, two cloves, and that's it. Just crack it, unwrap them, and then leave them. They will work really well with the broccoli. So, let's have a look at our foil. So, parchment and foil together. You could use foil or parchment. 
But when I go to the supermarket, it's like Thomas when he goes to the toy shop. I see stuff yeah. and I think, ah, oh, fancy that, I'm going to try that. <laughs> so I'm just going to unwrap this. It'll work really well. I, I mean, I've used this before, to be honest. But all we're going to do is we're going to take a piece, like so. And there we go, we've got our foil and we've got our parchment. So, take our broccoli, like so. That'll be enough. So you could do, that packet of tender stem will do two people, easy. And what I would suggest is you cook a parcel for everyone and then they get to open it and they get all those lovely flavours and they get the steam and they get all the, the, the experience of it really. So put your garlic in and around it, okay? Some chilli on there. Now if you don't like chilli, don't put it in, that's okay. It's not essential. It won't not work. So there are our aromatics there. So we'll put those to one side. Now a little bit of olive oil, not a lot. Just on there. A little sprinkle of black pepper. And then I've got some soy sauce, okay? So I'm gonna put a little bit there now. And that's gonna kind of work as our liquid as well. All right. I've got some sesame seeds. There you go on. You see this all right, Emily? Yeah. Good. And then I've got a lime. So soy and lime to me work incredibly well. You get the sourness of the lime and you get the saltiness of the soy sauce. It works really, really well. So first bit on there. And then let's grab our salmon. Okay. Salmon skin on. So when you speak to your fishmonger, ask them to leave the skin on. Um, I'm sure if they're really nice fishmongers, they will offer to take it off for you. But I like to leave it on because what it does is as the steam hits the vegetables and it pushes up into the salmon and then it stops and it holds it tight in and I'll take the skin off at the end and finish it. But that is dinner. So all we now need to do is just take our corners, like so. It's like Christmas this. We should all be really well pr practiced at this because we've done it at Christmas, haven't we? Just fold that first bit down like so. And then fold it down again. And then press the ends. And then all I'm gonna do is turn it over. I'm gonna fold it that way and then under, so the weight of the parcel keeps it all tight and shut. Okay, and that is ready for the oven. That's it, okay? So we're gonna put that to one side and I'm gonna show you the next one. One side, right Emily, what flavor would you like next? Oh, what have we got? We have got sea bass, or I have got haddock, smoked haddock. Smoked haddock, I'm interested, I'm intrigued fancy, by this one. Nice, okay, so we're going potatoes, leek, tarragon, lemon, smoked haddock, and a little bit of creme fraiche, sour cream actually, sorry, sour cream. So it's gonna be like creamy but rich and delicious, but not like tons and tons of cream and butter and all that sort of stuff. So, first of all, potatoes. They're the ones that'll take the longest to cook. So I've just got some baby potatoes. So this parcel will actually feed two, okay? So it's gonna be slightly bigger, this one, but they'll all cook at the same time. So it's important that you cut them as thinly as you can, because we need the potatoes to cook at the same time as the fish. And the, this is where this recipe will succeed and fail. You know, if you cut your potatoes like that and expect them to cook, it's not gonna work, okay? So really, really nice. Can you see how thin they yeah. are, aren't they? Yeah? Take your like time. It's crisp thin, isn't it? Yeah. Take your time with it, really. And just sort of count, right, oh, how many potatoes would I want to eat? And slice that many. Okay. Can you use it? Is is a baby potato kind of the best one to use? Uh, you could use normal potatoes if you want. Just cut them smaller, you know, into smaller pieces, really. 
These are just, these were half price in booths this morning, so I went for those. Sometimes these days you've got to get into the supermarket and look at what's good, haven't you? And what's rather than go in with preconceived ideas always on what you must cook and what you must have. Absolutely. Okay. A couple more and then we are done. So this is just a real classic combination, I think. Tarragon and leeks and lemon and smoked fish. They just all work really well together. Okay, last one. Now, if you have any questions about today's recipes, please do post them in the comments below. And if you want the recipe, scan the QR code that's running on the bottom take it to my website, petersidwell.com, or you can download our app, Peter Sidwell's Kitchen. It's free to download, and you get all our TV programs, all our recipes, um, you can get access into the shop, all that sort of stuff. So it's all good. Right, so, let's just spread these out a little bit, okay, before we do anything with them. I'm gonna season them, not too much, because the haddock will be slightly salty because it's being cured before it's been smoked, okay? So easy on the salt. Little bit of pepper, and then I'm gonna look for my zester, which will be somewhere in here. Before I um, slice my lemons and use up the juice, I'm gonna use the zest as well, okay? because that'll give us fragrance, and fish loves lemon. We know, we all know that. Okay, right. So let's grab a bowl. We'll get these potatoes in here. They're ready. Now, leeks. Okay. One leak will do, I suspect, for everyone. So if, you see, if you're serving four people, do two parcels, two fillets of um, smoked haddock, rather than making one massive parcel, because the parcel will, the bigger it becomes, the longer it takes to cook. Okay, so we're just gonna take that outer layer off, and then really start at the white. And again, the same rules apply. Nice and thinly sliced, okay? Don't do massive big chunks. If you cut that and expect it to cook in like 10 minutes, it ain't gonna happen. Nice and thinly shredded. And then you'll get maximum flavor and it'll all cook at the same time. And that's the important bit of this type of cooking is making sure that the fish cooks the same time as everything else. So all the way down the green as well, okay? Don't throw this bit out. It's got good flavor in it, nice color, all that you want. That's the only bit I'm gonna throw out, all right? Okay. We see this all this all right, Emily? Yeah. Yeah, leaks in. Okay, let's mix all these up together now and then we can just dump it in the parcel and get everything going, get into cooking quick. Nice, there we go. Right, that is almost ready. Let's put that to one side. Just gonna wipe my table, keep me clean. Okay, right, so time to make our parcel. So get a decent sheet of oil or whatever you're using. Just gonna fold that back so that you can see better. I like to look after you. You're very considerate. Yeah, you know. Right, okay. So I'm gonna put a little bit of salt at the bottom, a little bit of pepper, and then we're gonna take 
our potatoes and our leeks and create like a nice base for it all to cook on. All right? That looks lovely in itself. It'll, do you know what? It'll be delish. Really, really good. Don't pile it up. Spread it out a little bit. And then it will cook evenly, all right? If you don't want to use a parcel, you could just put this into a baking tray, cover it and do it exactly the same way. I just wanted to show a really quick, really easy way of doing it. Right, so what have we got? Tarragon, okay? One of the very few dried herbs that is worth buying. <laughs> Tarragon, oregano, mint. Those are the only three, in my opinion, that are any good dry. Tarragon works well. It's quite intense. It's quite sort of strong. So you don't want loads, but it will just marry all this up together. It'll be beautiful. Right. I've got lemon. So I'm going to squeeze the lemon one half on the potatoes, like so. Nice. And then I'm going to take some sour cream. And this will just kind of melt together as it cooks. All right, so it's quite, you know, once you wrapped up this parcel and sealed it up, it will do its own thing. All right, don't put loads in, because you kind of want the, the water from the leeks, you want the lemon juice, you want the starchy sort of juices from the potato, just to come together, that's it really. Yeah, that, that will all become a beautiful sauce. What I'm going to do is add a little splash of Savion Blanc. Discovered this before Christmas, didn't we, Emily? Yep. Beef steak have brought, and they've done it again. They've brought beautiful wine out, Savion Blanc, great for this. So we'll just add a little bit in. Not a lot, because we want to drink the rest, don't we? Yep. There we go. That will do nicely. Okay, I'll pop that back over there. So now time for our fish. So I got a full side of smoked haddock. Oh, smells good. Do you like smoked haddock, Emily? I do actually, yeah. It's naturally smoked. It's not the bright yellow one that glows in the dark. It's naturally oak smoked, this one. So it's being cured. Oh, it's lovely. I, I really like smoked fish. Skin side down, okay? So all the flavors push up together and basically they kind of meet in the middle. The smokiness of the haddock will push into the potatoes and the leeks. The leeks and the potatoes and the tarragon, and the lemon juice will push into the fish and they will just join in the middle and make a beautiful sauce that will just work with this amazingly. This is my favorite, this one. I cannot wait to try this. So let's just fold it up. I'm just going to fold it slightly differently to the last one. So let's just seal that up there. And then the same with this one. And that is ready for the oven. But you can see it's quite thin. There's not like a real chunk to cook through. Once that oven gets hot, this will cook quickly. Okay, right, final fish recipe. We're going to cook sea bass. And we're going to kind of do it in its own sort of tomato, fennel, garlic, lemon sauce. It'd be really, really nice. So what we're gonna do is, first of all, we'll take our tin tomatoes. Now, I don't want loads of sauce, but I do want some. So I'm gonna pour my tomatoes through a sieve while I'm getting everything else ready, and it will just catch the excess liquid. I mean, straight away, look what's coming through. Wow. Yeah? And we just want a rich, fresh tomato flavour. In January in the UK, we don't get rich, fresh tomatoes. We get tomatoes a bit like this that don't taste of anything. So go for tinned, adapt your recipes, because these were picked and processed, probably in Italy, in the summer when the tomatoes were amazing, so you will get amazing flavour. So just let that drain a little bit. Okay, so we've got fennel seeds, so tomato and fennel and fish, amazing combination. A Little bit of lemon there, 
Um, I've got some fresh basil, which everyone loves fresh basil, don't they? It's just the nicest herb. Mm. And it'll just make this so fresh and vibrant. And in contrast to our other parcels that we've made today. So, we've got our basil. And then we've got some white wine, just a little bit, lemon, and then I've got olives. Okay, so we're, we're all almost going sort of Marseille bouillabaisse. Have you heard of bouillabaisse? I've heard of it. It's like a fish and fennel uh, tomato soup that you would get in Ooh. Marseille. It's beautiful. But it's that whole tomato, fennel, olives, you know, that kind of rich flavour profile. I'm going to serve that up with some sea bass. Sea bass is a really popular fish nowadays. Um, and it's quite reasonably priced. £2.70 for a fillet, which I don't think is too bad no. at all. It's not a huge fillet, but it is delicious. Um, so, let's take some of our foil-lined parchment. I'm just going to do that so that you can see. There we go. You see that all right, Emily? Uh, jolly well, I can. Lovely. Right, so let's talk tomatoes again. We can see, I'm just going to give it a little stir. Okay, that's quite a lot of water, isn't it? And that, do you know what that water's doing? It's diluting the flavour. We're trying to increase the flavour. So just that little stir. This is how I make pizza sauce. So tin tomatoes, bit of garlic, oregano, olive oil, salt, and that's pizza sauce done, straight out of a tin almost. So if I just give that a little tap. Crikey. <laughs> yeah? That's crazy, isn't it? Got a good half a tin of water there. I'm afraid so, yeah. So you have to be careful. This is why I would urge you, for this recipe, not to buy cheap tin tomatoes. Um, you want, you just want good quality ones, okay, for this. Because this is going to make our sauce and it is all about the lovely tomatoes, yeah? So that's enough. So it'll make two. 400 gram tin will serve two people easy. Okay. Some fennel seeds, because tomato and fennel, beautiful. Okay, a little bit of salt. We've got some green olives, so we've kind of got that briny flavour that's going to work really, really well. I've got some basil. All I'm going to do, I'm not going to cut it because that's when it bruises and it kind of burn, uh, it sort of oxidises. If you just tear it up, you'll get that lovely fragrance, okay? What else are we putting in? A little splash of wine from our friends at Beefsteak. There we go. That'll help with the steam and the flavour. That'll work really well. Touch of olive oil. So it all feels very Mediterranean this now, doesn't it? Mm. Looks good. I'm going to take a clove of garlic and just crack it. Sit it there, fish it out at the end. Fish it out, see what I did there? No. Oh. Dad joke 101, that Pete. Dad jokes. Gotta love them. A little squeeze of lemon juice. Like, I've got half here, I'm just using a quarter of it because I'm going to finish with it. All my fish dishes, I finish with a dose of either lemon or lime or whatever that might be because it just, it takes it from that level up to that level, honestly. Right, sea bass. So these are bone removed, so the bones have been taken out by the fishmonger already. Be aware that Sea bass has very small bones, okay? Mm -mm. And they're very sharp, small bones. So let's just sit that on top there. That looks okay. Nice, isn't it? The colour contrast is really nice. Yeah, so a little bit of pepper on top, not a lot, because it's not going to do a lot. A little bit of salt on the top. And that's it. Super simple, quick. You'll like this one, Carlos. This yeah. is up your street, this one. Fold it down, seal it shut, there we go. Tuck it underneath itself so the weight of the fish holds it down and that's it. 
You can get these ready the night before you want them. So they could sit in the fridge all day while you're at work or you're out or doing whatever you're doing. As soon as you get home, preheat the oven. 170 degrees and these will cook, I believe, these will cook absolutely in about 12 to 15 minutes maximum. It will depend on your oven, it will depend on your thickness of your fish, but it is quick as long as you preheat the oven. But I'm gonna get all three of these into the oven so that we can have a taste of them, see what they look like when they're all done and inspire you to cook them in your kitchen. Right, this fish is cooked. All those flavors have just married together beautifully. Smells amazing. A little bit, a lot going on, but in each and individual parcel, there is some amazing flavors. So let's open the smoked haddock first. It smells so good. This is my fave. Oh, wow. Whoa. Right. Are you having a little taste, Emily? Oh, so, my top tip for you. Can we see this all right? Uh, yes. One Just yeah. get under the skin and just peel that skin back. There we go. Oh, and then... <laughs> oh, beautiful wow, grey locks in the way <laughs> and as I said to you before if you remember it is all about the lemon juice at the end it makes such a difference so if you're going to serve this to the table with a parcel serve it with half a lemon okay right so let's get a little bit of potato for you as well Emily and let's test my theory that it should have cooked all at the same time There we go. A little bit of potato, a little bit of leek. There you go, have a little taste of that. I will have a little taste as well. I want to make sure I get that bit of lemon. Mm. Smoked haddock is so underrated. It is absolutely delicious. And those potatoes, look, can you see, Emily, there? Uh, Look, drop it a little bit lower. Yeah. The potatoes are softened. They're cooked. Mm. They've got the flavour, the lemon juice, the creaminess. Everything is going on in there. That's a good one. I'm going to move that to one side. What do you think? Nice. Nice? Okay. I can't remember which one's which. Mm. So let's open this one and see what we've got. Ooh, oh, sea bass. Nice. It's going to be nice, this. So, again, just pull that skin back a little bit. Watch your head. <laughs> and there we go. I want to grab an olive, because that's going to work really, really well. And then, so you've got the tomatoes, you've got the fennel, you've got the sea bass. Emily. Pass me your fork back. <laughs> no, I'll try really it after good. I go. I want to, I'm intrigued about this next one. Oh, try this one. This is good. You'll like this. Do you like an olive? I do actually. Yeah, good. Right. A little squeeze of lemon juice on for you. There you go. Try that one. Oh, that's so good. The fennel. And the tomato, just amaze balls. So good. So good, that flavor combination. Right, final one. We've got our salmon dish here. So we've got our broccoli, we've got our salmon. Oh, that looks good. Lime juice on this one. Oh. Have a little taste of that. Watch the ginger. <laughs> I, I get too excited. Mm. Completely contrasting flavours to the more Mediterranean and the quite British flavours. And then you've got Asian, you've got ginger, you've got chilli, garlic, soy, broccoli, all cooked perfectly. Absolutely delicious. Now, if you want to try any of these recipes, 
scan the QR code on the bottom or go to petersidwell.com. It will take you to my website. All my recipes are there. You can also download our free app where all our programs, all our recipes, everything is there. But thank you very much for watching. Please share this video with your friends. If you, anybody out there that you think, do you know what? They'd like that recipe. Share it with them. And I'll see you on the next episode.